Eva Zoltek with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Heating up in the northwest today, temperatures in the upper 90s and even triple digits there in eastern Washington. Now, we are tracking a little bit of monsoon weather that's going to be heading towards our region right now. Some of it building off the coast of California, getting a closer look to where we are right now, our current satellite and radar. Not tracking too much of that yet. A little bit of it is floating into Oregon and there in Nevada, but in the coming days we will see a shift. Now, an air quality alert has been issued near Salmon, Idaho, where that air quality has been degraded for unhealthy for sensitive groups due to all the smoke going on. We have a heat advisory again in eastern Washington and areas of North Idaho due to those really hot conditions and then a red flag warning due to some of that monsoon moisture bringing in lightning to areas of Oregon. So something we're all watching out for in the coming days when the, that monsoon weather hits us. Now in Boise, we're only going to really see one day of significant precipitation. So tomorrow we'll still still see another hot and sunny days, but late in the night, that's when that monsoon weather is going to shift on in, bringing us a 40% chance of precipitation. 92 degrees will be our high temperature th that day. After that, we're going to see some more heat in Boise, tracking up to the upper 90s and then even back into the triple digit territory. So here's a wider look of what the system is going to be doing. By the time we hit early Tuesday morning, we're going to see some of those systems start to hit into the Treasure Valley and then look how significant that gets afterwards. Now first, it's really going to be sweeping into Oregon, but as we progress through Tuesday, Tuesday evening and into Wednesday, that monsoon weather is going to start to head on in to Idaho, bringing us some action as well. And that is going to continue through Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday. Now, again, with this system, we could see some lightning spots in Idaho City, seeing some rain there in uh, Tuesday morning, the early hours of the morning, and see how much lightning the system is really going to be tracking there Tuesday afternoon. So that's really the day that we could see some significant thunderstorms throughout the Treasure Valley. Now, Progressing on in through Wednesday, seeing continued incidences of heavy rain. Now with this system, we could see heavy bursts of rain and this system is pretty fast moving about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So as soon as it comes in, it'll head right out. But as you can see, we're going to still see uh, systems of, of storms heading there through Wednesday, but it's going to be pushing uh, east of us, so it'll slowly start to hit the Magic Valley after it really hits the Treasure Valley on Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Tomorrow's temperatures are going to continue to be pretty nice and we're going to see some more sunshine, 99 degrees in Boise tomorrow, the West Central Mountains. We're going to see mostly sunny conditions, 96 degrees there in Idaho City. Same with McCall, although we are going to start to track some of that system again, but it won't be until tomorrow evening that that system starts to hit. So during the day, it'll be mostly clear. 87 degrees there in Stanley tomorrow with some sunshine. It's going to be a very nice day tomorrow. And again, after that, we're going to see a little bit of cool down with some precipitation. So 99 degrees will be our high there Tuesday. Mostly sunny conditions in the afternoon. That system's going to start to push in, bringing some cloud cover with it, of course. And then that precipitation starts. Now, I'm not tracking it starts before midnight or 1 a.m. here in the Treasure Valley. But throughout the day, we could see scattered showers and thunderstorms. 40% chance of that there. And our temperature is going to be dropping to 92 degrees as a high on Wednesday. So a little bit of a cool down. After that, that monsoon moisture is going to head east, really impacting the Magic Valley a lot more than the Treasure Valley. So our temperatures are going to get up there once again. We're seeing three days in a row of 97 degrees as our high Sunday and Monday, 96.